The strategic plan for the next National Development Plan 3, envisaged for the year 2020-2025, is currently under formulation with strong demand for public and private sector reforms. Uganda is slipping back on the investment climate. We need to address that. There is need to learn from the experience of others on doing industrial parks. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. Uganda is already leading in regional trade, and we can and should capitalize on this and position ourselves to even benefit more. And with output from critical sectors such as agriculture remaining weak into the national economy, radical shifts will be more than necessary. Sustainable land management for increased productivity is crucial. Need to work on a definitive and definite strategy of moving people from agriculture to industry and services. It cannot happen by accident. We need to really think through how this can happen. Uh, there is need for us to embrace uh, the continental free trade area and regional integration as key to enable us to uh, increase the share of manufacturing. According to the National Planning Authority, the Malay is associated with implementation of programs and projects worth nearly 200 trillion shillings over the past five years must be improved in light of new extractive areas. We need to address policy, institutional, regulatory constraints, especially in the oil and gas sector and the mineral sector. Local content, particularly in the petroleum sector, um, is something we need to really, really um, address. Program approach to emphasize synergies is key. Uh, human capital development for increasing local content is crucial. Infrastructure development is also critical. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.